Hi, Manuel. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good evening. Good evening. I'm okay, Manuel. Ready for the last class. <laughs> yes. How was your day yesterday for your for your birthday? It was okay. It was okay. Um, I celebrated here at home with my family and everything, but it was nice. Thank you. Hi, Robert. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Perfectly fine, and you? Excellent. Just the same, very well, thank you, very good. Hi, Astrid. Okay. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. All right, how was your day? Everybody's day was okay? Busy, I believe? Yes, my, my day was busy. Right, yeah. Yeah. Of course. All right, very good. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Miss. How are you How are today? You? Fine. Sigo de incógnito. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry, yeah. The thing is, like, they are, like, um, giving maintenance to my computer, and they were supposed to bring it today, but they were not able to, so I'm going to have it until tomorrow. It's a little more complicated for you. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. I don't really enjoy it like that because I, I like to see my students. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, oh, Okay. <laughs> but it's OK. All right, guys. So welcome. This is the last class of these um, course. Hi, Nidia. How are you, Nidia? How was your day? It was good. Thank yeah. you. All right, very good. Guys, I don't know if you have received the um, the uh, information for the next course, have you? No. Not yet. Interesting. All right. Well, um, let me find out and then I can like send the information to you on the chat tomorrow. But I think the, well, I'm not, well, I believe that the um, next course that is going to be offered for you is TOEIC 1. All right, it's like the preparation for TOEIC, which is quite similar to this one, all right? It's, um, I mean, you have the listening, the reading, all the four macro skills and everything. And there are three courses. So I, that's the one that you were supposed to um, register in. But let me find out tomorrow and I will text on the chat, okay? In case you wanna take it. And if you're interested, all right, the idea is for you to keep on practicing your English. So I think it would be good for you guys if you are able to take it, all right? Hi, Brenda. Hi, Julia. Hello. Good evening, Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you feeling today, Brendita? Oh, now I see you. So that means that you feel better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all right, that's nice. No more pain. No more pain, wow. Eh? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm happy to see you and I'm happy to hear that you're feeling better. All right, guys, um, were you able to do the uh, mind map for the, the, uh, for the class that we were having yesterday? Mm -hmm. No? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So, Freddy, yes. Uh, Brenda, also. Yeah, Brendita? Yes. yes. Very good. Nidia, also. Excellent. All right. Manuel, were you able to? No, teacher. Sorry. Excellent. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, <laughs> Manuel. Uh, what about Astrid? You are kidding me. No, yeah, no. I understand. That's okay. Guillermo, were you able to? Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, uh, well, uh, no, not really. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Sorry. Don't worry about it. That's okay. Robert, I know you had it like you actually talked about it yesterday in class, but were you able to finish it up, Robert? So far, well, the, lab, the last one that we have made, no, because no. I have been working the platform. Okay. Additionally, okay. I have a question. When until when do we have to finish the platform? Sunday, I believe. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Julia, were you in class yesterday, Julia? 
Yes. Ah, okay. I, I did. And you, you did the, the mind map? But <clears throat> the mind map is about the three questions that you... Yeah, that you were supposed to choose one. Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't understand <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Let's see. Fredito. Can you pres can you share your screen with us and explain what your mind map is about and kind of like walk us through it? Can you okay, but I, I I had in a paper. Oh, all right. So we're gonna see it on paper. That's okay. Uh, yeah, but I don't. I I don't know if you. Is could that see the it. picture you just sent me? Yeah, I. Okay. You know what? Hold on. Freddie, mm -hmm. where are you here? I don't see you. All right, you know what? Um what about Brenda? Do me a favor. Can you can you um no hold on? Oh, there you are, Freddie. Se me había perdido. <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna download it. All right, give me a second. Hey, Freddy, we're coming, we're coming here. Okay. I think I have it ready here. So, it's here. All right, Freddy, there you go. Can you guys see it? Everybody? Yeah? yeah. All right. Very yeah. good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Freddie. So here you're sharing your um, mind map. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, the topic is that smoking should be banned in public yes. places. Okay. In my opinion, I completely agree because, well, uh, here we have different uh, reason. Okay. I think that it's important that have to be um well we have to have a law okay about this um activity okay and one of the damage could uh, is that well this is a practice and immoral activity okay because, you know uh, it is represent a bad example uh, okay. especially for by ch um, for children and okay. younger okay uh, for youth okay Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, it's commonly uh, used, um, well, they, uh, mm -hmm. the other person, and maybe create uh, a word, um, ideas about it, that maybe they could think that it's a good activity, okay. or maybe a cool activity. Oh, okay. So, and obviously it's an immoral activity because it's disrespectful to others. Oh, okay. And could, could create an uncomfortable environment for a non-smoker because, like, you know, if you are a non-smoker, you don't want to have uh, want nothing <laughs> relating with that. Yeah. And another reason could be that is you have to respect uh, significant places, like, you oh, know, okay. purchase museums and oh. hospitals uh, because I think that uh, especially in these places it's not a good well n never uh, could be a good idea to do it right of course yeah and the next reason to be that maybe the most important is that is damage to health right. and obviously third one is damage to well the unhealth, the person that is a smoker. Damage health, okay. That okay. and other 
other person that could be uh, damaged a lot is pregnant women. Okay. Women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pregnant women. Okay. And people with uh, with have respiratory diseases uh -huh. like asthmatic or maybe allergy suffers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the, the last reason is that it's damage to the environment because, you know, it's easier to, um, to create, um, oh, I forget the word, in a sense. Mm. To create a fire okay. mm -hmm, in forests mountains and places with dry ve vegetation with dry vegetation all right okay very good okay so if you guys um uh take a look at freddy's mind map of course he has the uh, question like the essay question on the middle where it that's where it should be and then he's got let's say four main ideas all right one of them being the more uh immoral or immoral activity the other one is respect for significant places damage to health or harmful for health and also damage it damages the environment okay so if you guys see this do you have an idea what he's going to talk about in each paragraph because of course we know the question of the essay which is smoking should be banned but now looking at his mind map do you understand what he's going to be talking about in each paragraph is it clear for you guys Yes, it's clear. Yes. Yeah, it is. All right. Okay. Now, if you take a look at like only, we're just looking at his main ideas, let's say, like immoral activity, uh, respect significant places, damage to health and stuff. Do you think he agrees or disagrees with the smoking, mm -hmm. uh, that a smoking should be banned? What do you, what do you guys think? Is he pro smoking or against the smoking? Against. Against it, right? Just by looking at the um, ideas that he has written down, we can tell that he's not pro smoking. All right. So for Freddie, uh, smoking should be banned from public. I mean, in public places, right? So somewhere on his um, essay, probably at the beginning, so in the intro. Um, a paragraph and perhaps in the concluding paragraph he should like restate that he doesn't really agree with i mean um or he agrees sorry with smoking that that smoking should be banned from public places all right okay so freddy here i mean you would have enough i think you would have enough ideas to write about okay um yeah, I think you're you're in the right track, Freddie. Thank you. All right, nice. Okay, very good. Thank you, Freddie. All right, Thank Nidia, you. can we see yours? I'm gonna stop. Oh, uh, let me see. Did you do it on the computer or did you take a picture? Yeah. On the computer. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing so you can share your screen. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, um, Maribel. I didn't say hello to you. I'm sorry. Anareli didn't. I didn't either. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Need Wait, I hope it is the one. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's my my map. Okay. Oh, nice, fancy. We began this uh, platform with Manuel, I think. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yes. I, I was looking. So I, I choose the university education uh -huh. needed, is needed in today's world. Okay. And as you heard yesterday, yeah. Uh, I was I was um, asking myself if right. what is success for you right. in your okay. today's world. Right. Yeah. Uh, and so it takes us to meaning of success mm -hmm. for some people is to uh, make a lot of money right for people is uh, to uh, get a good position in society politics or something like that right okay and for other more bohemian maybe okay. is what do you want to do in life just okay. do the things that you like to do 
Okay. So for the first one, if you want to uh, make a lot of money, maybe, uh, yes, the it's needed to have a university education. Okay. Uh, maybe, the, uh, maybe also for the position. <laughs> right. But for the um, free souls, maybe yeah, free it's spirit. not needed. Free spirit, <laughs> okay. yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so in the today, oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. And uh, what is the to, today's world's success or the today's world's uh, trends? Okay. Yeah. The tech, the technology is yes. definitely uh, okay. needed right now. Okay. If you don't know technology, some someone says you are an alphabet right now. Right, I know. <laughs> Another trend is the orange economy. Ah. That is the creative technology. Oh, the design, the arts, okay. things that you don't think are important, right. but they support the hard economy. Okay, get it. Business as themselves, economy, business, uh, commerce and everything like that. Okay. And of course, the government that is needed in every society. Okay. Good or bad, but it's uh, right. It's needed. Right. And the reasons that I find, I think, mm -hmm. it's uh, the education may be uh, needed. The university education mm -hmm. are that when you study uh, a grade, a career, you have standards to act with another partners okay. in the same levels. Mm -hmm. And you learn how to do some things that in the real life you don't know how to. Okay. For example, uh, make a, I don't remember the name, a budget. Uh-huh or a plan or something like that. Sure, okay. And uh, even though in the, when you are in a, in a university, you make friends or connections that right. in the future may be your stakeholders. Right, okay. And the, the, the question asks you to, to, to give examples. Okay. For example, for the it person give reasons and examples, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. For the, for the the people who want to do what they want to do, right. uh, my husband have a cousin. Okay. Who studied medicine at four year and at this year he said, "No, I want to travel to the world." Oh my goodness! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and he. Cool. I don't want to make the story long, so he left the career, okay. and now he has more the more of forty years living in Paris. Oh my goodness! And so he lives like coyol quebrado, coyol comido, but he's happy. Right. Okay. He's, he's yeah. the okay. people tower every day. Okay. Another friend of my husband too. Okay. Studied um, two careers in the United States, and okay. now he has a good position in FedEx. Okay. Um, another friend of my husband. I'm my husband. My goodness. <laughs> he's, he's got a lot of friends. Yes, he he's he's so amigoso. <laughs> um, he is the owner of the El Zócalo. Okay. And he's a a military. Okay. We just studied the the high school and then do the military the school. Yeah, okay. The army. The war ends okay. and he didn't want to be in a position of administrative position. So okay. began began the, the the business. Okay. So he has all that business. Oh my goodness. Yes. And another friend of mine told me because I, I told her one time my my boy doesn't want to study at university 
career. Okay. He just want to take one tech, another tech. And okay. she told me about his cousin in Canada that has a lot of tech. Uh, and he made a lot of money. Right. I don't know. So I, I didn't uh, put the conclusions here. But okay. I think that um, uh, the success depends on what you right. consider as success. Right. right. And in this world right now, it's uh, uh, a lot, a lot of branches. Right. That of course. Consider, and it depends on what your own effort to concrete your success. Right. Okay. All right, very good. All right, so if you guys take a look at Nidia's map, uh, of course she has the question on the middle, right? And that question, I mean, we all had it on our PPT, and that question asked uh, the student, in this case Nidia, to like give examples and to give reasons, all right? So what you do in these kind of cases, guys, and this is not only for Nidia, I mean, Nidia did a great job with this, when you have to write and they are asking you to give examples and reasons, you do it within the, the, um, the paragraphs, okay? So you, for example, in this case, Nidia would explain a little bit about her ideas today's world, all right? And she would have to somehow, she would have to like talk about all that she wrote down, like for example, technology or economy, business and government, giving examples at the same time. All right, so it's like a mix and match of the example. So she restates what her um, main idea of that paragraph was in particular. So the same thing she would have to do for the other one, the meaning of success, all right? She's giving reasons, okay? So she would have to like it within the same passage, she would have to give reasons based on her main idea of that, pa of that paragraph, okay? So in this one, you kind of say, okay, so um, like in my, uh, in other words, blah, 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 right? So you're kind of like giving reasons and giving examples at the same time you're explaining your main idea, okay? Very good, very well done, Nidia. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing that with us. All right, mm -hmm. Brenda, do you mind sharing yours? Okay, please. <laughs> Maribel, did you do yours too? Were you able to finish or not, Maribel? No, no, I didn't do it. Uh, I, I only have the ideas okay. here. Uh-huh, so I okay. can share the, the mind map, I'm sorry. Okay, no, that's okay. All right, we're gonna take a look at Brenda's and then if anybody, if someone else has it, then they can share. If not, we're gonna go to the other exercise. Very good, thank you, Brenda. So my, it was the first idea. Smoking okay. should be banned in all public places. Okay. And uh, it, it's based pretty much on four main ideas. The okay. first one is, uh, I agree because it's a matter of preference. Mm -hmm. uh, smokers can choose to smoke at a different place. They do have that option. All right. Uh, in the other hand, non-smokers uh, don't really have the option if somebody starts smoking next to them. Right. So they should not be forced to uh, secondhand smoke against their right. will. That's, that's the, the first idea. Um, and taking advantage of what you said, uh, an example will be that, right? If right. there is somebody that starts smoking next to you and you're not really into it, mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't be, uh, or you should be allowed to walk away at least. Right. Right. Uh, right. So it's easier for the smoker person just to do it in a different place. So the second idea is uh, the health benefits that this will carry along. Uh, okay. There's a lot of uh, studies around uh, these topics and that have proven in, in different countries that uh, smoking or banning smoking has show benefits right. in a reduction on heart diseases, right. uh, lung cancer, and respiratory chronic issues. Yeah. And the third idea, it's the liter, the liter problem. Okay. Uh, 
it's it's uh, the impact that this has on the environment. It's 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 very huge. It's actually okay. huge. Some smokers, yeah. not all of them, but some of them, don't use a trash can. So there's a lot of cigarette butts all over the place. <laughs> Right, <laughs> and that's that's really doesn't help to 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 all the cities. Besides, um, it's very known that there is a huge um, spot in the middle of the ocean uh, that it's full of cigarette butts. And Are you serious? It's, it's really, yeah. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> and it's really sad. The right. other one, it, it's it's actually a huge. Uh, spot of I don't know how many kilometers or miles I'm not sure but it's very huge okay. and it's made of and the majority it, it's made of cigarette butts and um, leads or taparroscas I don't know uh -huh. yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, are you serious so it's wow. it's, pla it's pure plastic yeah mm -hmm. and uh, the last idea is a it doesn't really, I mean, being against uh, smoking in public places, it doesn't mean that you're against smoking at all. Okay. Every person has its right to smoke if they want to. Right. Uh, however, uh, it's it, it's fair to, to do it in private settings. Uh, okay. So nobody is forced to, to do it if they don't want to. Uh, the impact on the rest of the people is controlled. Uh, right. It's just about showing a little bit of empathy from the smoker right. person. Right. And respect to the, yeah, and respect to, to everybody's health. All right. Okay. Very good. Well done. I like your uh, mind map. <laughs> Very nice. All right, guys. Again, in this case, Brenda, you share the same idea with Robert, right? Yesterday, Brenda, you were working with him for a little bit. Yeah. All right. Okay. So in this case, um, as we can see, Brenda, is, is, is she against it? Or I mean, I mean... Is she okay with the idea of a smoking to like should be banned or not, guys? Anybody? Yes, I agree. All right. Mm -hmm. So she she agrees that I mean a smoking should be banned, right? Because of all the ideas that we see her like here on her mind map. All right. So in a way, she's like saying, okay, it would be okay if it's it should like it should be banned, right? Because it has like even I, I mean, it's interesting because she talks about health benefits once those um, rules or laws are passed along and they're banned, right? So it's like, so they're like, I mean, the smoker, even their smoker health improves. And that's kind of funny because they, they sometimes they don't even realize that that can happen. All right. So it's really interesting, guys, um, the way this works. And I think it's easier if you follow this um, pattern Again, it's really up to you which one or which method you follow, but as long as you have one, so you understand yourself and then you can like work from that and make it like in a little bit more organized way. All right. Do you have any questions about this, guys? Anybody? No, are we okay with that? All right. Okay, sometimes what's interesting is, for example, when you are a university and you're studying this, sometimes the professor can assign to you a topic that you are totally against, but you're supposed to be pro on your essay. So that's very hard, all right, because it's like dealing with something that you don't believe on, and then suddenly, so she says to you, okay, but now you're pro, all right, so you're not against it, you're pro it. All right, so that's very difficult and you have to prove and you have to convince the professor that's reading that that you strongly believe that could happen. Speaking of that, guys, when you write essays, there are many types of different essays that you can write. There are persuasive essays, all right, when, where you have to persuade the reader or convince him or her about what you believe. Uh, you can have contrast and comparison essays. Those are like easier because you can like in one paragraph, you talk about the cons. In another paragraph, you talk about the pros. So that's quite interesting also. So there are several type of, uh, you have descriptive, you have narrative essays, you have all sorts of um, types of essays. Usually for the um, TOEFL test, they will either tell you like compare, all right, or what's your opinion about it. Uh, but you have to be aware that there might be that they can tell you, okay, so you now you have to write 
a persuasive essay and then you just have to follow along all right but the the, the way you organize the ideas is the same all right you choose the method that you best like and that you really feel comfortable with and the, at the end of the day what you want is to get your ideas organized okay all right guys so here this is i uh, just want to share this with you just give me a second here oh no yeah like I had Fredito's picture here. All right, okay. Oops. Okay, so uh, we're, we're not really gonna talk much about this developmental paragraphs. These paragraphs, they are within your essay, guys, all right? So you're supposed to, I mean, I already sent this to you so you can like keep it and then you can read it on like on your own and stuff, but you have to realize have to have ideas, you have to have a, a topic sentence, you need to have a supporting idea of, so remember that supporting ideas, the name says it, they are supporting your main idea of that paragraph. And you need those because they will help you like write better and they will help you keep yourself organized, okay? So make sure that for every paragraph you have like some three or four supporting ideas that are the same and they are supporting your idea of that paragraph. Okay, make sure that you don't get lost on that. Uh, let me see here, guys. Let's see if we can have time to work a little bit on this. Just give me a second. Um, all right, can we try to work? Uh, actually, number 15, I think it's on the platform, if I'm not mistaken, but that's okay. Can we work on W15 uh, and W16? Just follow the instructions here, all right? That yesterday, were you able to, um, we were supposed to do the, choose the topic, then do the mind map, then for W9, you were supposed to cross out some ideas. Remember that? Were you able to do that yesterday, guys? Yes. Well, that's okay. If you were not able to do it, it's just that's why it, ma it makes reference on W15. It says in exercise W9, you crossed out all the ideas in your mind map that did not support the main point. You chose uh, to cover, uh, to, you, sorry, to choose cover in your essay. On the lines below, write a topic sentence for each of the developmental paragraphs that you have decided to focus on after refining your mind map in exercise W19. I mean W9. So the idea is go back to your mind map from yesterday for the ones that did it and then kind of like cross out some ideas that were not putting your main point and then follow along the instructions on W15 and W16. All right. Okay. Let's try to finish those two today and then we'll stop right there. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, there you go.
All right, guys. Maribel, Brenda, Nidia, Freddy, Guillermo, Evelyn, Julia, Robert, and Manuel, Astrid, and Arely. It's time to go. All right. Uh, it's been a pleasure to be working with you again for the ones that were with me on TOEFL 2 and TOEFL 3. And it was a pleasure to meet the ones that joined us on these course. Thank you so much for being every night, okay? Uh, as I said, I'm gonna find out tomorrow uh, for you guys to be able to register if you uh, are interested to join TOEIC 1. All right, that's uh, the preparation for TOEIC, a similar test as TOEFL, all right? So I'm gonna be contacting you guys uh, all, like through WhatsApp and I'll let you know what, what's gonna be happening with that, all right? So thank you so much for being with me, all right? It was a, a nice pleasure and thank you so much. And I hope you keep on working and you keep on improving on your language that you're doing great, by the way. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you you, were, you Thank are you. Good, Thank you. an excellent Thank you. teacher. Thank you, Nidia. And I want to, I want to make a, you. Thank you. Enjoy your a toast with my water <laughs> because you are an excellent teacher. I I feel I I um I learned a lot in these two uh, last models, and I right. am so happy and so happy to share with my. My your classmates. Yes, yes. That's right. Well, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. you. Thank you for being you a guess. great student. <laughs> All mm. right, guys. Thank you. Un abrazo desde la distancia. Pórtense bien. Cuídense mucho. All right. Si no tiene que salir, no salga. Y si sí, pues con todas las medidas necesarias. All right. Thank okay. you, guys. Thank you bye, bye. Thank you bye. 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 Bye.